Don't want none of the good. Don't want none of the good. I'm the good. Straight out 513. I catch a fate. About to do this. Don't want none of the good. I catch a fate. The good I got you. I'm the good. Pays for same money fortune. I'ma catch a fate. Good is gonna, good, the good is gonna. It's good is gonna, good, the good is gonna. It's good is gonna, good, the good is gonna. Good is gonna, good, the good is gonna. Hey y'all, welcome back with what's good with Goody. Another Goody's Corner interview with my man Jay Rich. You know what I'm saying? Buddy was Playmaker of the Week for Week 10. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, just um. Tell people about you a little bit more, man. First of all, I just want to thank my boy Goody for having me on Goody's Corner. That's it's pretty sad. important to me, you know. But uh, about me, IFL, you know, made all arena. Had had a chance to come to the AFL at the end of the season last year. Came in, had a shot playing against the Cleveland Gladiators, playing for the Utah Blaze at that time. You know, I had a good time. You know, it was a good, it was a good experience for me, big, and actually played a role in me coming back here this year. Well, that's what's up, then, man. So being here, being in this environment since you played with Utah, you know, what I'm saying now playing with us, how do you feel playing here now? Well, coming in with Utah last year, they said, you know, Cleveland, you know, they 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 play harder at home. They they're mean at home. That they're gonna try to fight you at home. And I was like, you know. I, I, I'm with it, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm with that. And playing against them, it really was. They they were very protective of their house. They played us hard, you know. Even though they were sending some people out, they still played us hard, you know. And uh, but I liked it, you know. I wanted to be on on, on this side, you know. So yeah, I mean, fans see you out there. You over there jaw jagging. You over there. You want the people in the middle ready to get it going. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's kind of like the What's, what's getting exchanged? Like, what's going on, man? You know, in my mind, you know, I like pit bulls. If, if, you, if you see, I, I got tattoos on me. On this side, I got pit bulls. And, you know, when I'm out there, I just consider myself a little pit bull. Relentless, you know, barking all the time. If, if you're trying to take my food, which is, you know, what we got trying to get this championship, we're going to fight. Actually, yeah, because I see it like even you play fullback getting touchdowns, you know what I'm saying? You was playmaker of the week. for You had three touchdowns in Milwaukee. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you must have had to play some running back back in there. Like, you know what? Was good. <laughs> you over there it. shaking and juking. <laughs> over here, cut back, cut back and on cats. Like, man, what's good, man? Man, you know what? You hit it right on the, on the head, man. I played running back all my life. You know, I, I wasn't always 277 pounds. You know, when I was younger, I was the smallest on the field, like a young Robert Red. You know, you know he's a good dude. He's he's a playmaker. I was a playmaker. You know, I was one of the fastest in my class, and then I got big my junior senior year in high school. I just blew up. They, you know, I went from two hundred pounds to two thirty. <laughs> I'm on defense. You know, yeah. so when, ever since then it's been defense. But when I came into the indoor league. They started throwing me on the uh, in goal line packages, blocking, you know. Next thing you know, I come to the AFL, and now I'm carrying the ball. Coach <laughs> gave me one chance, and I, and I ran with it because it just, I had to go back. When I when I sit in my room, sometimes I got to go back to those days, and then when I get on the field, think about those days, and I used to cut it back. Did you see that zone? And get it in. Yeah, get it in. For sure, that's for sure, man. So, you know what I'm saying? So, what, I, what attributes, like, what you feel is, what you what's best? What you bring best to the game? I bring best to the game. I bring I bring uh, a player that can do anything you ask me to do. My coach asked me to play fullback. I'm gonna play fullback. If he asked me to play Mac linebacker, I'm gonna play it. If he asked me to play Jack, which sometimes I play on goal line, I'm gonna play it. I just like to be that for any coach. And what coach doesn't want a player that they can do that with? Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of teams passed me up. You know, not knowing if I was big enough. Asked, wondering if I could get my weight up. You know what I. Coach Les, I mean Coach Leski and Coach Tom believed in me, so I gained that twenty pounds, and now I'm here. You know, making everybody pay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Because the biggest thing you can't hear you told us about. You know what I'm saying? We got Philly coming up. You know what I mean, yeah. you really talk about how Philly, how personal Philly is. Oh yeah. That game is yeah. for the division. 
Yes. You, I, when I came in your room, first thing, you, you got to watch the film. Yeah. Y'all already ready. You said bump yeah. tamper. Let's worry about this feeling. Yeah. I mean, what's I, I was, your feelings on that? Go ahead, give me your piss on You know, it's so personal. It, it's it's personal. It had me up at 6 o'clock Sunday morning watching film on Philly. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but um, they're one of the teams who was trying to get me, you know, at, at one time. You know, they backed up off me when I was supposed to be going there, you know. But Cleveland, they hit me at the right time, and I came here to pay them back, you know. I came here, it was far from home, I had never been out of Texas, Utah was my first experience, but it was one week, but I had to think about it, like, man, that's Cleveland, Ohio, mm -hmm. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, you know, like, Cleveland, Ohio, man, Shh. I'm going, <laughs> 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 that, and that was it, I was saying, let me get the contract, I want to be there, I feel it, I feel and I'm happy I made that choice, man, I couldn't have been with a better team, I feel it, so what's your goals for this season, and for, for for the future, what's your goals with it? My goal from now on, from here on, is to beat Philly. Beat them all the way up because it's personal and we're going to beat them up because to rent mess up their conference chance, mm -hmm. you know, to win the division. And after that, it's just win. We can't take no losses. For real. That's serious. Just for Cleveland, you know. I'm saying, you know, our fans, y'all fans out there hooting and hollering. Yeah. Guys are barking, getting us out there on ready. You know what I'm saying? It's all because of y'all. That's why we out there playing fist. We out there and it's doing our thing because y'all mean because of y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's for the man, people like Jay Rich said, he wanted to come here because he heard we was physical. We heard we out there talking. It's our house because yeah. of the fans. It was a lot of fans when, when I came up here from Utah. It was my first experience in the AFL. I come up here, I'm looking around like, <laughs> it ain't no LeBron, but hey, <laughs> it's going down in here. <laughs> you know? I love the fans anyway, you know what I'm saying? I had a good time here, so, and I'm having a good time this year. Y'all fans, the fans, they fuel us. They're our fuel, and we got some good fans, so we stay full of fuel, you know what I'm saying? That's what's and that's up. why we, they, when they come in our house, they, they don't really stand a chance. They don't stand a chance. That's, what's up. that's how everybody feel, and that's how we got to keep moving and keep working yeah. hard, man. That's what's up. I mean, we I mean, don't got much time left, but you know what I'm saying? You got any shout-outs you want to give out and let the people know what's good? You no, know, uh, I'm going to shoot uh, first and foremost to, you know, my family, you know, and, and, and uh, the God Almighty who, who wakes me up every morning, you know. But um, I also want to send a shout-out to my mom. I love you very much, my fiancé, my son, Kay, and um, athleticconnect.com. Y'all check that out. Some good thing connecting the athletic community. Big things going down. That's what's up, man. Oh, yeah, I can't forget. You know what I mean, I got to ask the question, you know what I'm saying? You from San Antonio. What's good? You got the Spurs going all the way, or what's good? Yeah, I mean, I've been back and forth with it because I have had some issues with my Spurs in the last couple of years as far as the office and management because you know I'm from there. I know everything about them. But, you know what, it's, the, it's a good system. I'm coming around. Greg Popovich, he's doing a good job coaching. So, if I had to choose anybody to go, I'm going to choose San Antonio right now. For sure, for sure, man. Yeah. Like, but, yeah, man, my Lakers is out, so, you know what I'm saying, I'm kind of salty. But I kind of got thunder going since they beat my Lakers. So, it's going to kind of make it look good, like we lost to the champs. You know yeah. Saying? I like Kobe, too. Kobe's one of my all-time favorites, you know. All-time. Hey, I, I got every one jersey he ever had, you know. But, um. Yeah, they're out. Oklahoma City, they're destined. That's what they say. They're supposed to be Oklahoma City versus the Heat. But I think San Antonio's trying to mess that up. You know, it's always somebody yeah. trying to mess it up. Yeah, that's true. I think true. it's San Antonio, so we're going to see what happens. We'll see what happens. Just like how we're going to see when we play Philly Sunday, 4 o'clock. Tune in. They're over. Get on airfieldlive.com. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be it's, it's for the marbles. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's Philly. Division game. We just don't lose at home. Get your tickets. We're get not gonna lose in front of the fans. Get your popcorn. Get your pick. Get your cameras out. Get your get all your y'all shakers, your rallies. Get y'all dances for the jumbo. Try get it <laughs> get it ready. Cause y'all, you know I'm saying it's gonna be a big game. It's like gonna be a party. Know. It's gonna be a party. It's gonna be a party. Y'all come have fun and get ready to party. Cause we're gonna put on a show for y'all. And that's what it's about. You know what I'm saying. And what can I say? Cleveland Gladiators, your boy here, what's good with Goody, with Jay Rich, Jamie Richardson for y'all, well, the government name. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you know what I'm saying? You see us with the shirts, rocking them. 
What's good? White and the red, everybody else be rocking goody, them. You know. you, we got the bands, all day red, black, got green, pink. Get on get on the website, what's good with goody.com. Tune in and catch any updates, any articles, any pop-ups. Just follow me on Twitter at WGWG underscore 21. You know what I'm saying? And if y'all ask for the 21, I was 21 last year. I told y'all the story before, I don't need to go over again. But anyway, tune into that. Follow me on that, any updates. And get on the Facebook fan page, Dominic Wizard Goodman. Get on that, follow me. I got articles and everything posted on there, but I ain't going to keep jabbing. But thanks for tuning in. Another, another interview, another Goodies Corner with your boy Jay Rich. And we out. Just throw it in the air toward one six touchdown quick. Good is gonna, good, good, good is gonna. It's good is gonna, good, good, good is gonna. Good is